what's up everybody welcome back to a brand new video and today I want to get into how to basically what you need to know what you need to know during your awakening and uh, oh yeah and basically the things that I wish I knew when I first had my awakening now before I actually get into it, I want to talk about my own experience real quick. So basically how I got into, how I activated my awakening, I guess. I, I remember it so clear. It was 2016. It was, yeah, it just turned 2016. And I was... I don't even know how it came up on my page, but I just clicked on a New Year's meditation. I can't remember the title, but it was a 2016 New Year's meditation. And so, I did it. And then, after that, I just basically started meditating. and. Things started breaking down into my life and like it felt like my emotional like like my beliefs and stuff were all over the place and so I what I got into first was numerology and astrology well well not no, it was astrology, a little bit of numerology, and like, basically, the history of like the Sumerians, Arcturians, and basically a lot of energy stuff as well. The first thing you need to know during your awakening is, you know how when you're when you well I can't speak much for women but you know how you, when you're a guy you just look at the woman you're just like wow she turns me on that is no more like okay what I'm basically saying is you become less sexually attracted to women now I'm still attracted to <laughs> I'm still attracted to women but for different reasons and instead of when you awaken it's like you operate from your lower chakras your root chakra your sacral chakra and as you start to meditate and ascend and raise your vibration frequency you start moving into the upper chakras like the heart chakra throat third eye crown and yeah i think that's about it and and you become less attracted to women because you start to see past their appearance seeing more of their where they're at in life and like basically not exactly where they're what they're going through but you see like where they vibrate at and you start you start uh, how do I put it into words I, it's not that I'm not trying to put it into words, it's just my mind is going too fast for me to think. So, so basically you start seeing the woman, like, is she taking care of herself? Like, what's her personality like? And, like, what like how does she react to certain situations like is she more reactive or 
observant. Same thing goes for men too. And yeah. But where I'm at is like it's like I don't I don't care if I I'm at the point where I don't care. Like if I meet someone, I meet someone. If I don't, I don't. It's just it is what it is. And I've never had a girlfriend before or kiss anyone, which is kind of weird. Well, people say it's weird because they look at me and they're just like, wow. <laughs> they're just like, wow, you never kissed anyone before? Hmm. Yeah, but I'm okay with it. And now that I look back at it, I'm actually kind of glad that I haven't been intimate with anyone yet. But anyways, that's my story. Moving on to the next subject. On to the next topic. Alright. Now, when you go through your spiritual awakening, you start seeing the earth more on a global scale rather than like in just a city or a country. And your friend group that you usually hang around begin to... you start feeling different because you start going inwards and instead of hanging out with other people I mean you still hang out with other people but they're not the people that you're usually hanging around they're not used to the they're not used to the new the new you basically <laughs> and you start being you start thinking alone a lot more and you and you will be alone for a while until you find like-minded people who think similar to you in a way hmm. all right on to the next subject for higher self your soul doesn't want to stay in the same city where everybody thinks similarly, similarly or stay in the same region where everyone's thought process is the same because once you become aware of that thought process you your soul your higher self is going to want to have new experiences and expand its horizons and yeah so be ready for that i think that's about it for this video and yeah just be aware once you awaken and i'll probably make this video again to better explain my view of things but i'm gonna just leave it at this and once you awaken, your sex drive will go from up here, up here to all the way down. And you'll just start being like, man, crap, I used to like that kind of stuff, but now it's just man. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and tell me what you think, and see you guys later. By the way, if you don't know this hand sign, oh yeah, you can leave by the way, but if you're interested, you can stay. This is from an anime that I watch, and I don't know if, I don't know what this means though, but if you take your hands like this, and you go like, Crap, why am I screwing it up? Alright. Take your hands like this. Twist your hands like this. Then go 
them up and go like this. And I believe this hand sign means either love or healing. It's either love or healing. I'm not sure which one, but it feels cool. And the first time I did it, I just felt, I don't know, I hands felt a little bit cold. So, see you later.